Hi everybody, welcome to today's video. So, the vast majority of chimneys built since the 1950s actually have a clay liner on the inside of them. Older chimneys, however, may not have a liner at all. And I will tell you guys, locally, that actually comes for us into the 70s. So we will still find chimneys built into the 1970s here, and Carmel actually has a lot of these that do not have a clay liner on the inside of them. So that is called an unlined or a brick lined chimney. Why do we put that liner in there? We put that liner in there for a couple of different reasons. It provides us with a smooth surface. So you have fewer cracks and crevices for creosote and soot to build up. So a clay liner is a good idea all the way around. It also contains the heat of those combustion gases of that smoke. Um, so it helps insulate the chimney, keeps those flue gases hotter till they'll just charge outside, and it reduces the possibility of those combustion gases from migrating through the mortar joints of that chimney and into the house itself. And then finally, it actually protects that brick and mortar from the acidic combustion gases that will form in that chimney. So when you burn something, if you've heard us go through the carbon monoxide presentation, you know this, but when you burn something, including wood, natural gas, coal, what have you, when you burn a hydrocarbon, if it's done completely, you get carbon dioxide and water. As that carbon dioxide rises up through the air, it's actually going to combine a little bit with water in the air or water in the flue gas and form a weak carbonic acid. That carbonic acid is going to attack the lime in the mortar and the brick and the block that we use to build that chimney because that's basic, whereas that acid is obviously a little bit acidic and those two are going to combine and neutralize each other. As they do that, it's going to actually degrade the inside of that chimney. So the flue gases actually rising up through that chimney, if it's not lined, are going to degrade that chimney. So that's the other reason you actually have a flue liner inside that chimney. And here's a picture of what it looks like over time. So if you look carefully at this picture, you can see that this actually has a flue liner starting two or three feet down into that chimney that has degraded over time. It's done its job. It's kind of a sacrificial 